What we do here is go back, 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 back. All right, what the actual Twilight Zone fuck is happening? Like, hell no. Nah. You mean to tell me that this motherfucker did all this as a social experiment? So if y'all didn't see it recently, Nikocado Avocado had posted a video about a week back showing his massive weight loss and stated that he was two steps ahead. The last time Nick had posted was about seven months ago or eight months ago now that we're in this video. And he was overweight only for this entire thing to be a social experiment. Like, what the fuck? Here's a clip of him explaining why he conducted his experiment. Always two steps ahead. This has been the greatest social experiment for my entire life. It's alluring. It's compelling. It's gripping to observe all these unwell, disoriented beings roam the internet in search of stories, ideas, rivalries, where they feel encouraged and engaged where they involve themselves with the stories and become a product of influence today i woke up from a very long dream and i also woke up having lost 250 pounds off of my body yet just yesterday people were calling me fat and sick and boring and irrelevant. People. People are the most messed up creatures on the entire planet. And yet I've still managed to stay two steps ahead of everyone. The joke's on you. If all of this was an experiment, does that mean the beef between him, Zach Choi, and Stephanie So was a part of it? Or was that actual beef between them two? Along with that, what about the OF contest of him getting R. Kelly on? Was that just for the social experience or is that a kink that he's actually into? Please answer, please, someone, anybody, answer those questions for me in the comments because I haven't been this confused in my life. Even while writing the scripts, I'm still trying to struggle to understand this. Nick legit had me scared for him. And I actually thought he was going through some mental issues like insecure about his weight and that's why he was acting like this I, I i i don't know but only for him to come out and say that all this was a social experiment was not something on my bingo card this year i don't know what's next in store for nikocado avocado uh there's some sources saying that he is a nutrition expert like he a nutritionist i, I don't know man I'm, I'm i'm confused like i'm dead ass confused other than that guys that is my video for today and if you guys made it this far uh we gotta talk so i haven't posted in about like a couple weeks and i feel like i owe y'all a conversation about that um i was gonna save like half of this for my 1k special but i feel like you guys deserve to know what's happening um i was going through a lot of mental health issues and silence along with that um that same guy i mentioned a couple of years ago about like uh dante or cohan you know harassing people on the iwc he had came back again and i had to involve the authorities because he had leaked my discord server name and you know it was just a lot of stuff so I took the time out to self-care, detox, and, you know, take care of my own well-being before I felt okay enough to come back on YouTube. And I just want to say I'm happy. I feel better. I'm healing, and I'm still working on that. However, I'm good enough to say I'm back on YouTube. Other than that, guys, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and ring the bell for future notifications on this channel. I love you all, and it's your girl, Bonnie Two Times, signing off.